my channel. I know it has been a pretty long time since I have picked up the camera and vlogged. And I actually had every intent on vlogging last week. But we were going to Greensboro on a little work trip. And when I got there, for some reason my SD card, the only one I brought, for some reason, <laughs> it wasn't reading with my camera. And I'm not really sure how to fix that or what was causing that to happen but basically it would let me take pictures but it would not let me record so i'm not i gotta figure out that because it's actually happening with three of my sd cards because today i was trying to vlog and um kept putting sd cards in and none of them were working so i don't know what is going on with that but i have actually only got one now that works so as soon as i get off here i'm going to go online and just try to do as much research as i can to figure out how to fix that and how do you like my little baby hairs oh they're driving me crazy <laughs> but today we just have a few things to do um for those of you who probably don't know i mean if you live in north carolina or south carolina you probably know but there's a hurricane coming a big hurricane and it's headed straight to us and i'm kind of nervous because our house ever since we've moved into this house it's been like a target for natural natural disaster. Yeah, I cannot talk today. Natural disasters. We've had two tornadoes and now a hurricane coming. So in less than a or in a year. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> We've been lucky with the two tornadoes. They literally just it went right next to our house and took out the trees and then some of this um, roofing. But now I'm just really scared about this hurricane because the hurricane that hit 30 years ago in the same area uh, flattened the land basically. So I'm pretty scared. Um, so I'm going to Walmart. Anyways, I'm going to Walmart today to get a couple things that we'll need. We have a generator. We have plenty of water. Um, my husband's company they buy stocks of what like um what are they called pallets of water. So we have plenty of water and not really worried about that. But I do need stuff like milk, water, milk, um, bread, typical stuff. Things that Aubrey likes pretty much. Um, I'm also going to get her some toddler formula just in case the power goes out and we can't get the generator working for any reason. Just in case we have to leave and I'm not able to give her milk. I'm going to get her some toddler formula. That way I can just make it with water. Whew, I forgot how hard this is. I'm already out of breath. This is crazy. I'm also going to be hitting the gym today because I haven't been to a gym in a long time, about two weeks now, and I am feeling it. I'm feeling very sluggish and down. I actually ate a pizza in bed last night because when I'm not going to the gym, I feel zero motivation to eat healthy. I feel zero motivation to do anything, and I can tell that I've just been a little off. That's all I'm going to talk to you guys about right now. I do have a ton of stuff to update you on and a lot of fun things that are coming or about to happen. All right, now here's just a checkup on the babies. Aubrey is now 20 weeks old, or 20 months old, sorry. 20 months old, <laughs> yeah. And then Maverick over here is crawling all over the place. Well, scooting, scooting all over the place. Hey, Maverick, what are you doing? See, I just scoot, 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 and he can stand really good too. But right now, his favorite thing to do is just scooting everywhere. Aubrey just snuck out because <laughs> I opened the gate. Oh, we gotta go find Sissy now. Okay, let's go find Sissy. What are you doing? What are you doing? You gonna go downstairs? No, we're gonna stay up here for a little bit longer. Our morning routine has changed a lot. We used to go downstairs after Aubrey would wake up. We'd go straight downstairs and eat breakfast down there. But I just recently stopped that and started having her eat breakfast at her table right here. Well, right now she's carrying her pop tarts around. But I bring her bottle and her breakfast up here, and we eat up here. That way we can just hang out and I can get ready without running up and down the steps a hundred times. So today I'm just gonna be cleaning up up here, vacuuming, and cleaning the floor, because I don't know if you can see these floors. <laughs> That's the bad part about having white carpet with two babies, is the floors get destroyed. Um, you see all these stains and stuff. This is really bad. So we're gonna clean these floors today, right? Are you gonna help mommy clean the floors? We need to get a shirt on you. This is her shirt for the day. Right here, it says, Boss babe like mom. But 
I'll wait till she's finished eating to put her shirt on. Oh, bless you. And right now, I am watching The Good Place. And then Aubrey has to do her homeschool and stuff afterwards. But for now, just watching The Good Place. And it is really, really good. So, if you need suggestions for a Netflix series, The Good Place is pretty awesome. So, I'm going to stop rambling now. And I know I keep messing with my hair. I, I forget how hard it is not to mess with your hair when you're trying to vlog. But I'm going to try to stay conscious of that all day today. That way, I'm not like constantly just bugging y'all with that. <laughs> But please, no hate comments. It's been a while since I've vlogged, and it's really hard to just start back up in vlogging and feel comfortable in front of the camera again. So, no hate comments. But we're going to go ahead and get our day started. Just going to start cleaning. I'm sure I'm going to be getting lots of weird looks. I am at, in the drive-thru at Chick-fil-A now, and both the babies are kind of fussy right now, so just ignore that. And I'm sure the people next to me right now are giving me some funny looks I'm trying not to let it bother me <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna get me a scrambled bowl because I ran out of breakfast stuff this morning which is why we're going to Walmart but Aubrey learned how to sing let it go so that's what she's doing now but anyways um yeah I didn't have really anything to eat for breakfast I did have my coffee but yeah, so I drank my coffee and now I'm gonna get me the breakfast bowl, the chicken breakfast hash brown bowl or whatever. It's really good. Aubrey, can we be quiet for a minute? Guess not. But this is my list for today. And if you can see, all of this is the stuff I need today. And a lot of it is couponing stuff. Oh my goodness. This is not going good. Let me try to give her something to play with. Cause I don't know. Cause I don't even know if you could hear me over her talking or her singing "Let It Go." But I have lots of stuff to get today. Um, I started couponing again, and it's been going pretty awesome. Now I post an update on my social medias. If you're interested, um, on my Instagram stories and stuff on couponing deals or my shopping hauls and stuff like that, I was going to do videos, but it just doesn't work. Chad's FaceTiming me now. Got her new shoes on. The Maverick's still in his pajamas. So, time to get some stiff. I got my coupon binder down there. So, I have not been to Walmart in a while, but that is new. I don't know what that's all about. Hope no one needed water. So all I got left is this Dasani. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is ridiculous. But I'll tell you what I need. I'm just going to get me a few bottles of wine. Yeah, that's mommy's bottle. We are sip. So all she wants is this bottle. I've been trying to get her some toys, and the only thing she keeps picking is this bottle. We have a hundred of these things. And the Mavericks got a unicorn for some reason. <laughs> Thank you. Yep, she's still carrying around the ball. But now we found hats in the Halloween part of Walmart. So she's been trying on all the hats. What? The Maverick's still sitting here. He's got his little unicorn. He loves this thing. But I found this tutu, and I'm hoping it'll match Aubrey's leotard that she got for her Cinderella outfit. And then I found this Anna costume, and it is so pretty. Like, I'm surprised it's only $15. It's really, really pretty. So I got that. But now I just can't get her away from these hats. So I'm guessing we're going to have to get one of these.
So this is our Walmart haul. We didn't get too much stuff. We didn't need very much. All I really needed was cheese and milk. But, and wine of course. But I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what we got and some of the deals that we got. The first things first, we are going to Disney in less than two weeks. So I decided to get some of these Passy Finder clips. And we have Passy clips. But these can hook onto your blankets to help hold on to them. Um, you know, when the when the babies start kicking around, they knock off the blankets a lot. I know Maverick does anyways. So I got some of these. I've seen another YouTuber um, use these as the blanket clips. So that's what I'm going to do. I got some shredded taco cheese. We go through cheese like it's nothing in our house. So definitely need to that. Of course, I had some had to get some milk for Aubrey. Some puffs. And I actually got two things of puffs. But I think Aubrey's already took them. I don't know what she's done with them. But So I'm pretty sure I got two of these. Moving on. Of course, I got my wine. As y'all seen, definitely need wine. All the water there was already gone. Or pretty much all of it. I think they just had Dasani left. So I thought it was pretty funny. I was getting wine and everybody else was stocking up on water. But yeah, I got my wine. I also got these two packs of Pose. And they came out to be 86 cents a piece. So that's a pretty good deal for some pads. Um, sorry if there's any guys watching. But you always need that. And then these big... Um, shavers, they're a dollar sixty, and I had a two dollar off. I mean, two sixty, sorry. And um, I had a two dollar off coupon, which made them only sixty cents. Which we do not use these razors too much, but when I do gift bags for the homeless and um, for our local, for well, for Levine's um, Children's Hospital Hospitality House, I like to put a shaver in all of the gift bags. So shaver along with shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and so forth. But um, these little cheapo razors are good to put in those gift bags. Aubrey is playing with my wallet thing now. Moving on to more stuff for Aubrey and Maverick. I found this little, um, what's this called? A loofah? Yeah, I found this little loofah with bail on it. I mean, I don't really, she's already got a loofah, but it had bail on it. And we're going to Disney, you have to have that. And I found these wild animals, which we're learning our animals right now. So I thought that would be good. And it's um, she just loves little figurines. So I think they'll help keep her entertained um, while on the car ride to Disney or just waiting in lines. And I'm also going to use them in her sensory bin with her little um, peas. But, well, beans, sorry. They have pinto beans in them, the dry pinto beans. And she can feel around and dig out different toys. And I think that would work great for that. I think this one's getting really tired. No, you don't need to get in there. Okay, and then next, moving on to some of the items that I found on clearance. I found all of these shorts. This is size 2T. I tried to get the sizes that I think Aubrey and Maverick will be in next year. So Maverick got one pair of shorts, and then I found three pairs for Aubrey. And they're all in 3T or 4T, as you can see. And they were only a dollar a piece, which I think is an awesome deal. I got Aubrey this on a dress. So I just think that's precious um i don't really know when she's gonna wear this because for halloween we do matching costumes like i think this year we're all gonna be animals but i'm not sure yet it's really cute she might just be anna who knows if anything she might wear this to disney i just or to epcot but i'm not sure because i've already bought all of her out outfits and I already have all that planned out but it's just so adorable i couldn't resist Any if anything it's just a dress-up costume Aubrey is digging into stuff. I'm telling you, this girl is at the age where she will get into everything. Like, I thought she was bad when she was like 18 months old, but 20 months old? 20 months old is getting a little crazy. Huh? You want to tell them what you did there in Walmart? Hey, don't step on that. She carried around that ball forever. We did not end up getting it though, by the way. Because she has a lot. It's time for coffee number two. I am really tired now. Sorry, I'm whispering because I'm trying to get Aubrey and Maverick down for a nap. But I am making my second cup of iced coffee today. And I put three sweet and lows in it. And this is the coffee I use. It's Folgers Black Silk. And then I will just be using this almond milk. Almond Breeze almond milk for my creamer. And that is how I like my coffee it's super simple the cheapest way possible to get your coffee and you can 
can't really mess it up so that's why I'm gonna drink and I'm also using my Disney Starbucks cup to try to get myself in the mood for Disney which I mean it doesn't take a cup to get me in the mood for Disney but that's the theme of the day is Disney so I'm going to pick up um, moving on I was gonna show you guys one of the things that I purchased for our Disney trip um, but I use I'm already using it so I don't think you can see anything really but this is gonna be my card holder for the Disney trip and um, here's my really bad picture but it's really cute. Oh, your license and some cards. And then you can put some cash in there if you would like. It doesn't really fit much. Maybe one twenty dollar bill and that's it. This is all of Aubrey's change she has been saving for Disney. So I gotta take that to the bank and get it cashed out. And then another purchase I made just for our vacations and stuff. Not specifically for Disney, but for a potty training toddler. Um, I got her this little foldable toilet seat. It's not really hard to do with one hand, sorry. Um, yeah, I got this foldable toilet seat that sits on top of a regular toilet seat that can help her with potty training in public and in hotel rooms. So somehow it just sits on there securely. To where it says the reviews I read, because um, I was scared it was just gonna slide off the toilet, but everybody said that it stays on really, really good. I guess these slide down. We haven't quite used it yet, obviously, but I'm planning on taking this with us um, because we are going to start potty training. I'm actually going to start working on it probably tomorrow um, to see if I can get her potty trained before we go to Disney. <laughs> Who knows? I think I've already showed you guys, but she also got a new pair of shoes for Disney. She got white Converse, and I think they're going to look super cute with all of her cute Disney outfits. <laughs> This is the dress. It is so cute. Hey, hey, can you put that down? Can we see? Oh, it's so pretty. And see, so normally I'd have her hair up. But it's actually really, really cute. Kind of makes her look skinny. So chunky butt. Why are you chasing the camera? Maverick's still in the same spot. What are you doing? Neither one of them took a nap, so I'm hoping they'll. Go down in just a few. <laughs> You're moving so quick, buddy. Aubrey, what are you doing? Are we trying to get my pen? Um, no, 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 no. Pen don't write on that. But I decided to do this. I don't know if you can tell. Um, put it up a little bit higher because she can reach it apparently. But I drew a little Mickey Mouse. I know it's really bad, but <laughs> you get the idea. It's a Mickey Mouse, and he's got a 12 in it. And that is, that stands for what, Aubrey? Is it, we got 12 days till Disney? Oh, 12 days till Disney? that I actually filmed a couple weeks ago that is now um, finally uploading. It's taken me a long time to edit even though it's only like a 13 minute video. I don't know what it is. I think my dedication and just motivation to do things has just went down hill and I'm not really sure why. I've been searching um, for the past week or so to try to find motivation and just doing day to day things again. Um, and I do suffer from depression and anxiety ever since having Maverick and I am on medication for that and I think it's the fact that we tried wean, weaning myself off of it um, a few weeks ago and saying it out loud now I, it makes sense um, so I tried weaning myself off going down to only one pill every couple days and so on just like my doctor told me to and I think I'm just not quite ready yet so I've started going back to taking it every single day and I'm starting to feel a little bit better so that's good um, it's kind of it kind of makes me really upset at the same time like I feel bad for having to be on a medicine to feel motivated enough 
to follow my passions and things that I'm I know I love and I know I enjoy and just to lose your passion for and to lose your motivation for things it kind of sucks it kind of makes you feel like you're failing in some way um and I don't know if any of you are out there are like that or are going through the same thing I just want you to know you're not alone um I can hear Aubrey waking up in there now, so I really should go get her. She's been asleep for about an hour now, um, which is a little bit shorter than normal, but she's been fighting. Fighting naps pretty bad, but I'll show you Maverick real quick. We finally got him dressed. Ignore the stains on the carpet, but... Say, I finally got my clothes on. Huh. Say, I didn't want to take a nap either. He loves his camera, though. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you gonna smile for everybody? Oh, you gonna come get him? Okay. Hey, hey, hey. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing, handsome? What do you think you're doing, handsome? I think he likes seeing himself because he's he can see himself in the viewfinder. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Look at those teeth. <gasps> Do you see those teethers? I see those teethers. I see those teethers. <laughs> Why are you being so grumpy? Hey. hey! She's got an ear infection right now, so she has been pretty grumpy. Hey! hey. Now it's time to go to the gym. Ready, guys? the gym and it was a really good workout I only did about 45 minutes to try to ease myself back into it but I did get to run my mile and do a few upper body workouts and now holding this camera it actually really hurts so I know I got a pretty good workout in um, I was, once I got there like it just all clicked again that motivation that drive to be there so I think the biggest hurdle that people can go through is just getting your butt to the gym so this is what the babies are doing now. They're just playing. For some reason, I can't get the TV to work. I'm not, I mean, it turns on, but I can't get the direct TV box to work. So I'm really not sure what's going on there. But for dinner tonight, I'm just making a lot of spaghetti. I'm gonna make a huge batch of spaghetti. I'm actually cooking up three pounds of hamburger meat, lean hamburger meat. And this is what I'm gonna do to extend the life of this, um, what is this called? Spaghetti sauce. I'm gonna mix the ragu mushroom spaghetti sauce, and I thought we had more of this, but apparently not. So I'm gonna mix this along with some diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste. Definitely what I'm needing. These kids. They're getting to me today. But this is what my spaghetti is looking like. And I was going to do spaghetti noodles. But I decided to save these for our Halloween worms activity that I'm doing with Aubrey. Please try to just ignore Maverick. Um, so instead I used a mixture of spiral and panini noodles. 
that everything is looking pretty awesome. Maverick is not going to make it to dinner tonight. <laughs> he is having a little meltdown. We were going to take baths tonight, but Maverick is just not going to make it there tonight because he is being really fussy. So we're going to do his in the morning. And he's being very, very fussy. I'm not sure what's going on. the most attractive meal out there but it looks pretty good I've already tried some and it tastes amazing very simple to make and um, stretch your dollar a little bit further but all I got in here is the hamburger meat it's lean hamburger meat three pounds of it with diced tomatoes tomato paste a can of rego pasta sauce and tomato sauce all mixed up and cooked together for a little bit and this is just panini, uh, yeah, panini and spiral pasta. And that's just whatever I had in the counter or in the cabinet. So this is a very budget-friendly, easy meal. And I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make spaghetti. But I like the idea of stretching your dollar just a little bit further. And then, of course, I have my glass of wine in your Keep Your Heels, Head, and Standards High glass. Um, I'm just needing this little extra motivation today like I've been talking about <clears throat> I think this whole video is just about trying to stay motivated and up your mood a little bit Aubrey is still in there I don't know if you can see her she's still in there in her high chair watching cartoons but it is almost bedtime it is currently 6 13 I don't know if you can see that 6 13 so she goes to bed at 6 30 also I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about my Instagram and I don't want this to be weird or anything, but if you were interested, I would love if you guys could go check out my Instagram page. This is what it looks like. And I am trying to work on growing my Instagram followers followers currently. So if you're if you would be interested in it, um, there's a few. Most of my content is of my babies, of course. But yeah, that's a little bit of my content, and I post on my story every single day. So, yeah, y'all can see a lot of stories. So, I would love it if you would go check out my Instagram. I will link it down below. That way, you can just click on it and follow really quickly. But right there is my handle if you're interested. And I don't know why that's blinking. It's not blinking in person. It's just blinking on camera. But, yeah, there's my username. And I'll also just put it right there just in case you can't see it very well. But I'm going to go ahead and eat my dinner and then put Aubrey to bed. So dinner was really good. We enjoyed that and I put Aubrey down to bed and she is still up there talking a little bit. I can hear her, but she's not crying. So I'm just going to let her be, ignore all this wild crazy hair. I just took it out of a ponytail, but I'm about to jump in the bath now. So I've already taken off all my makeup and I know I have talked a lot about mom self doubt, uh, motivation, being inspired, um, all that stuff today. And I've talked about, been rambling like crazy about it. And I just want you guys to know that if you are postpartum and you have any kind of self-doubt or like, you know, a little depression or feel like you're not measuring up or not feeling passionate about anything, go talk to your doctor. It is a real medical issue for a lot of moms postpartum. I know myself, I've talked about it before, I do have, I do have postpartum depression and I was extremely embarrassed by it at first and felt like I was failing in every way possible as a mom, um, but it's not like it's not uncommon trust me it's really not so don't feel bad if you need to go talk to anybody 
And also talking to family and friends will help you as well. I know that's what's helping me the most. And finding other moms that I can relate to is also a big help. Um, just knowing that I'm not alone in all this. So that's why I wanted to talk to you guys a lot about that in this video. Um, just to explain to you, I have my ups and downs as well. And I have lost a lot of motivations in a lot of different things um, over the past, well, since having Maverick, the past six, eight months. It's been really, really hard to do the things that I know I love to do. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button. It helps me out so much. And I am working so hard to grow my social media accounts and grow my YouTube. Um, so if you did like these, this video, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also leave a comment down below just telling me guys, hey. And also let me know if you live in North and South Carolina. And keep me updated on how things are looking there. I would just greatly, I would really greatly appreciate that. I think it's interesting to see um, in real life how the storm's affecting people. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.